Welcome back, everybody. Uh, same disclaimer, historical information, nothing meant for legal purposes. Uh, this is kind of a little series I'm going to start uh, from uh, Dogs of the Past, Shows of the Past. Some of them <coughs> famous dogs, some of them not so famous, that, but they deserve recognition. Uh, some of them are going to be first-hand from my own point of view, and some are going to be second-hand from people that uh, that I know and met. This one's from Mr. Gray, and uh, it involves uh, his female Gizmo going against uh, the very famous Koi's grand champion, B.B. Red. Now, Gizmo was, uh, was sired by a male that was of the O'Brien uh, Zeke cross. O'Brien, a pretty well-known dog back in the day, heavy Dibo bred dog. Zeke being the sire to dogs like uh, Bolio and uh, Soros Bull. You know, Mr. Gray really loved them, what he calls Dibo dogs, you know. And of course, they're famous. Uh, a lot of competition from that blood, a lot of top dogs, famous dogs. Daibo, his own bloodline, uh, dogs from him like uh, Champion Spike, Red the Black Widow had their own bloodlines and, you know, things like that. A lot of famous dogs, Grand Champion or uh, the five-time winner, uh, White Rock, you know, just a host of dogs. Everybody familiar with Daibo, if you've been in the pit bulls any length of time so uh there's a little here's a little build up to that as i mentioned gizmo was from the o'brien zeke breeding on the top side her mama was a female named mole who was a daughter of uh champion tonka anderson's champion tonka more of that zeke black widow daibo black widow stuff you know just uh uh, very popular, especially in my day. There was a lot of Tonka dogs. He's not credited with all the champions. He probably produced 12 or 13 champions himself. Uh, I saw some Tonka dogs. I saw a son of Tonka, uh, champion Buck, other dogs uh, sired by him or down from that blood. Very popular blood, game, you known for gameness and ability, wrestling ability and air speed smarts stuff like that so that's how uh gizmo was bred uh gizmo was a two-time winner at the time she beat a uh, female from hopkins in uh in a relatively short amount of time uh probably under uh, 30 minutes somewhere around there she was reportedly a rough female, very intense, 31-pound uh, female. Uh, her second match is what made her name for her. <coughs> and uh, that was against the uh, Antonio Bayon Club's Farca. Farca was a multiple winner uh, and apparently it was a slam-bang affair. Uh, the match ended up going, uh, you know, Gizmo's first win was in only 19 minutes. Uh, and this was her second match into the Bayonne Club's Farka. Farka, like I said, was a multiple winner. Rough bitch, you know. Uh, the match ended up going two hours and 37 minutes. During the course of it, though, Gizmo got three of her legs taken out. Two front legs and one back leg. And at one point, Farka had her down, working her over. And from the bottom, Gizmo comes up with a jaw hold and breaks Farka's jaw. Right? And uh, there was about four scratches made on Gizmo's scratches. She would literally pull herself across with her nose and the one good leg that she did have. Finally, you know, beaten Farka. Just unbelievable display of of gameness, ability, two top females going into each other. And the reason I point that out is a lot of 
people think, you know, and it's not, not untrue, but they think all them long matches, they're boring affairs that don't have no action or anything like that. In this match, a, a turn was called on Gizmo, I think, in the first five minutes. They didn't make a handle until two hours. And it wasn't until two hours that that uh, Gizmo broke that jaw and the scratching started where she ended up winning. Just top, top females. Uh, another uh, uh, match that was on that show was uh, Godfrey's champion, Shoestring. That one went three hours. And there was another match on the show, I believe, that went four hours. Something like that. Top dogs. Everything you want to see in matches. Gameness, ability, bite, air, all that stuff. Just a determined, determined, determined effort, you know. Kind of remind me, talking about, I saw the video of... Uh, of Bayonne Club's multiple winner, Negra Tomasa, against uh, Ledesma's Donkey. Same thing. Everything you can imagine. Both of those females did not survive. It was heavy damage done, gameness shown, things like that. So, Gizmo, definitely a top female. Most people are familiar with BB Red. She came from a litter. It's the first, I believe, recorded. Uh, litter that had two grand champions in it, you know, at least recognized grand champions, both of them from the same litter. Her brother, uh, Koi's Banjo, another famous dog. BB Red, just a badass female, you know. She had uh, uh, all her fights were short. Gizmo went the longest with her, 42 minutes, you know. Uh, this was this uh, match took place about two years after Gizmo beat Farka. She was an older female, still had a lot of ability. Tried to give back what BB Red was was given her. Gizmo wasn't no slouch, but you know BB Red. Uh, what happened with that is probably on the release, I believe. BB Red hit her in the armpit. Opened it up, just the crimson was flowing. Later on, during the the short match, uh, she broke Gizmo's trachea. You know, again Gizmo showing gameness. You know, a few scratches made. Uh, BB Red made the first scratch. She also made the last scratch. Just a devastating bitch. You know, even though Mr. Gray lost to her, he can't discount that she was one of the baddest bitches in history, probably, at least that he had ever seen. Straight up killer. And, uh, you know, B.B. Uh, Red had had uh, had done pretty much the same to all her other opponents. In most people's opinion that I've talked to that actually seen both her and, and Banjo said B.B. Red was the better of the two, even though Banjo Short wins, tough. I seen him on film. Definitely a, a tough, tough competitor, a top dog. You know, conditioning was good, all that. You know, uh, Gizmo also had a litter mate that was a two time winner who lost in two hours and 50, 50 minutes, named Noogie. Uh, one of his wins was over the So So Boys. It was another litter mate, a male. Uh, in that litter that was also uh, uh, in uh, also a two-time winner, I believe, you know. And uh, to be correct, uh, I want to correct something that I just mentioned. Godfrey's champion, uh, Shoestring, he actually lost to Bayonne's, or, or I'm not sure if it was Bayonne's dog, but a dog named Anibal. Anibal beat Godfrey's champion shoestring on that same card in three hours just to be clear in case I was I misspoke you know and uh, uh, you know again in that match Gizmo making crawling scratches 
getting a standing ovation, you know. And I think what is a shame is that, that BB Red probably deserved best in show. She didn't get it. Went to a, another of Antonio Bayon's uh, females, I believe, named Manina. Most people felt that BB Red deserved it. Certainly, I could see that, you know. And for it to go, you know, 42 minutes with Gizmo bleeding almost from the beginning and then having damage to her throat like that and BB Red showing devastating style and hard bite and top-notch performance uh, in my opinion maybe she should have got the best in show but it didn't go that way that happens a lot there's a lot of things involved politics and favor and all this stuff but it takes nothing away from BB Red nothing I don't think bad could be say, said about her uh, when uh, Gizmo beat Bayonne Club's Farka, that was the beginning of Mr. Gray's involvement and becoming part of the Bayonne Club. And uh, it was probably, you know, Bayonne and Mr. Gray that made the, uh, the Bayonne Club, you know. In fact, Bayonne made a statement that, uh, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't beat Mr. Gray, so, you know, it's a can't beat him, join him type of thing, you know. Maybe in someone else's hands, Farka could have beat Gizmo, maybe not, but uh, in Mr. Gray's hands, it's, it's not so much he couldn't beat Gizmo, more so than he couldn't beat Mr. Gray. So he decided to partner with him, and they had a lot of success, a lot of great dogs, you know. So this is the, the beginning. These these are going to be short videos, but this is kind of the beginning of a little series of uh, two great dogs meeting. One of them, two-time winner that could win short and win long distance, show heart, gameness. Like I said, those crawling scratches by Gizmo against Parka, and and getting standing ovations. People emotional about it. And uh, going into a super bitch and losing the same way. And then you have BB Red, a top-notch bitch, one of the best in history. Beating a very good Gizmo. You know, it wasn't so much that, that she just killed Gizmo off the bat. Gizmo was giving her everything she had. It's just that BB Red was of that caliber. And... Uh, Again, nothing to be ashamed of on Gizmo's part. And accolades should be given to BB Red as one of the best. So this is the beginning kind of that little bit, bit of series, little series I'm going to do. And uh, I think those two dogs from the past should be recognized. And uh, maybe this will help people, you know, understand that not all those killers always finish fast some of them have to go some distance and there's several that throughout history that have done that you know even if you go back in the way in the distant past you know gameness was important gameness is the foundation of the breed gameness must be shown but a lot of those dogs in the past were also finishers if you look at their records it shows that they have a couple of quick finishes or maybe several finishes in short amount of time and then they have a long one finishing the dog but it took them two hours showing gameness beating game dogs that just will not quit that are tough and durable and will stay there not a lot of scratching dogs in hole most of the time none of that laying around stuff you read about when people talk about gameness to me that's not gameness laying around and getting beat up Game dogs fought. Game dogs gave it their all. Kept their eye on the prize. Kept their focus on their opponent. Didn't turn. Things like that. May get tired and come out a hole. And there may be a turn called. But when called on to scratch, they did it. So going back to, you know, Champion Pilot, Champion Patty, Tudors Goldie, Blackjack Jr., Blackjack. You know, Adolf, 
uh, uh, white rock, you know, devastating dogs that in some occasions had to show gameness and in other occasions went against dogs that were tough and durable and took them some time to win because they had heart. So this is a little tribute to some of them past dogs. I'll keep it going and uh, I'll have some more coming out of the big thicket. Some more dogs from that area and others too. Like I said, some I'm familiar with, some I've seen, some secondhand knowledge from people I respect and admire and want firsthand accounts. So thanks again for listening. Appreciate all the support.